What's up, G Show Land, and welcome to another episode of the G Show Podcast. I am G1, and this is the Godzilla Block Party. Very, very special edition. Very, very good time today. But before we get into all that, let me introduce you to my esteemed <clears throat> panel. Joining me once again, as always, is G73. What's up, bro? Hey, guys. How's it going? Very good, very good. Also joining us once again, you might have heard him yesterday on the podcast. It's Mothra. What's up, brother? Hey, everyone. How you all? Once again, coming in from Zilla Land, we've got Z1. What's up, bro? What's up? What's up? Not much. And, of course, rounding out my esteemed panel is the one, the only, Shinji from GVA. What's up, my brother? It's always an extra, extra special podcast when I'm on, baby. <laughs> it is always extra special because I get to look at you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but let's jump. I'm a fucking handsome guy. Go ahead. Let's you go ahead. are. Let's jump right into this because last night, last night it happened. We got a TV spot for Shin Godzilla, a new, with new footage, um, some sort of a story thing there. I mean, it was a short, it was a short trailer, short little TV spot. But there was, you could actually hear people talking now, and there was absolute concern in their voices. You can hear everything. It was very good, very well done. Godzilla looked freaking dope. As much as I shit on that look, I enjoyed it. The googly eye still kills me. But outside of that, I absolutely liked what I saw. Uh, he looked ferocious, monstrous. Of course, I, I mean, and then just explosions. And if anybody knows me... Or well, follow the G Show uh, Facebook page for however long it's been up. I'm one of those type of guys who's easy to please when it comes to movies. I just want to see giant monsters and shit blowing up. And this little TV spot had giant monsters and shit blowing up. And I loved, loved, loved it. Again, the look was sick. Uh, we finally got to hear people talking in context of the movie. I didn't understand what they were saying, but I understood there was trouble in paradise. I am going to start with you. Z1, what were your thoughts on this TV spot that dropped last night? Oh, I am ready to drag out eight seconds into an hour-long discussion. <laughs> Go for it. Okay, so I'm actually really satisfied with this. Like, surprisingly. I, I watched it on loop I don't know how many times. And, like... I don't understand what they're saying, like you. I'm still waiting for someone to translate the fuck out of this so I can understand. But, like, finally we're getting dialogue. Finally we're getting new shots of Godzilla that actually look halfway decent for once. We're, we're finally getting, like, we're finally getting something. And I thought that we weren't going to get anything at this point. But I'm pleasantly surprised. Um... Yeah, the googly eyes bother the fuck out of me still, but at least the shots that they picked didn't look mm -hmm. like fucking bow would pick Doji. So, you know, yeah. I'm satisfied. Yeah, excellent. Uh, Mothra, what about you? Um, oh, he might be muted. Let's see if, he, if we can pick him up. Mothra, are you there? We'll come back to him. What about are you there now, bro? Yeah, what's up? All right, same question. You saw the little TV spot last night. What, what are your thoughts on it? Godzilla looks freaking scary. I just loved how he was like, the army was like blowing him up, and then you Godzilla was coming out of smoke. Oh, it was like that scene was amazing. It really that was. Long. That's all? <laughs> I guess that's all. Jumping to you, G73. What's up, man? Your thoughts? Um, <laughs> uh, it was a sure surprise for me. Uh, you know, it's lucky that I dropped my phone. On, when I was looking at it on Twitter, or else I wouldn't have found it when I did. <coughs> that was on accident, and I uh, I wanted to let you guys know that I found that on accident, and it was because I dropped my phone and I was getting ready to go off, and um, I was getting ready to leave Twitter, and I my, I dropped my phone, slid my finger, and there was this you know that HD cam you know video of it, and I'm like, oh shit. Um, so with that said, um, I'm I'm still. I don't think he looks scary. Um, I still don't see fear in him, but I do like how he looks uh, CGI-wise. Um, that go yeah, the googly eye will never fly with me, but um, I do like uh, 
my favorite shot, I think, so far is when he's um, when he's walking through the city and it's the side shot of his neck and his face, the what we saw on the cover of that magazine a while back. And it reminded me of uh, when uh, legendary Godzilla in 2014 gets up and walks back into the ocean. So, that, so I thought I thought that was kind of interesting. But I like that shot because because um, it made it made Godzilla feel like he had some you know weight to him, and it made him look like he you know it made him look almost you know more more alive than usual than what we have seen with Suit Nation. And I thought that was pretty cool. But um, also the music for that uh, trailer, I, it added adrenaline to it, and I dug it to death. Um, but uh, other than that, I mean, no, let's bring on more. Um, you know, show us, show us maybe two more TV spots, or I mean, or a few more, just to give us a little bit of what's more to come. I mean, I, I'm sold right now. So. Yeah, I think I think we're satisfied. Uh, they went the appetite. That's good. Shinji, what about you, brother man? I know you saw this. You had to have seen this, even if you were working last night. I know this was blowing up your feet. What were your thoughts? Mm, I, I'll tell you my thoughts as soon as my heart on goes down. Um, <laughs> Does anybody have that number for that Viagra uh, over four hours? <laughs> anyway. So, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, I've, I've been one of the very few people who's been patient about this. So now now my patience is paying off. And, I'm, you know, we're seeing a lot of guys who are hating on it and not liking it all of a sudden. Oh, my God, it's badass. Yeah, because you, you're it's here now. You know what I mean? Like, that's why I, I like to be patient because when you're not patient, uh, you know, you got all these thoughts running through your fucking head and you're making up shit like, you know, like it wait and then you'll be happy. Um, <laughs> <Sit down. laughs> so I thought the trailer was pretty fucking badass. Godzilla looks fucking mean as fuck. And um, even with the the googly eyes that everybody's complaining about, a lot of people are, are more accepting to it now because now they're seeing that it's not just. Uh, derpy, derpy Godzilla, like, they're shooting at him, they can't fucking stop him, and the the, the eye I even makes it look scary, because, like, dude, does this thing even think? Like, it's just killing everything in my fucking way, so I, I'm loving it. Yeah, I was looking at that picture today, um, both pictures that, that, that the stills are going around from the trailer, the one at the end of the trailer where they had, uh, 729, IMAX, Ford, with all that stuff. And then I was looking at the one that I screenshot from the trailer with him coming out the smoke. And all, I swear to God, I'm looking at this picture, right? I'm just, I'm, I'm focusing on this damn googly eye, right? I'm sorry, guys. It's just, I hate the eye. But again, <laughs> it's not a big deal. It's just, it's just one of those aesthetic things that drives me crazy. But I'm, I'm looking at this and I keep thinking back to like 80s cartoons. And I'm like, holy shit. In the 80s, back in them days in the cartoons, whenever somebody got hypnotized, their eye got their eyeball got real small. And I was like, holy shit, somebody hypnotized Godzilla. This is terrible. Like it's just stupid things running through my head. But the the I, I really I look, like I said all the other times, just because I don't like the way the thing looks doesn't mean I'm not excited for the movie. Um and that the fact that we were waiting for so long after we got the first trailer and then the movie's coming out and ter- 13 days, you start getting nervous. Like, what the fuck's going on? But bam, you know, this little TV spot was more than enough to to hold me down. I, I personally don't need to see anything else now. I'm like, all right, cool. I got it. I got some extra shit. It's not the same thing over and over and over and over again that we had since April. The movie comes out in two weeks. I can wait, you know, until we're able to see it because I'm sure all of us will be able to see it relatively Energy. soon interjecting about the googly eye thing this is just the figure collector in me but at least his eyes aren't as derpy as the sh monster arts godzilla 2014 okay i see what you're saying i i, I got you i got you see that resident that thing's eyes are going all over the place <laughs> oh man blame that on the painter but um so yeah look so i guess we're all in agreement we're all happy that this thing came out we are all happy with this thing um I'm excited. I cannot fucking wait. Honestly, we we are, dude, on the cusp. All right, brothers, we are on the cusp of a brand new Toho Godzilla movie. And shit, it's time for excitement. G-Fest is going on. I really wouldn't be surprised if we got something else, but that's all that. 
But the other one that called it too. I thought that was pretty funny on our last podcast. But yeah, like, but we'll be something soon. <laughs> it's all process of elimination. But um, <laughs> I want to touch on something. I want to ask you guys a question. Um, because we talked about this on the other podcast uh, yesterday. Um. And then I saw something today too, which I probably shouldn't have. I didn't want to see it, but it wasn't gigantic in a, in a sense where I was like, "Ah, oh, fuck, the movie's ruined" because it, it didn't do that. It's still kind of speculation. But on the podcast yesterday, we were talking about Godzilla being this like organism, like, and I I was talking about how maybe there's something lost in translation with that. Um, I saw something today that kind of. Not freaked me out, but I was like, what? Because off off camera, off the podcast, uh, G73 and G95, we were talking. Uh, oh, G73 found something where I think one of the directors said that within an hour of the film, something big is going to happen. And I made a joke in that comment section. I made a joke saying, yeah, Godzilla's going to show up. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, but I saw something today that had me scratching my head like, holy shit, what's going on? And it goes back to this organism <laughs> thing. And it was basically saying that being Godzilla is made up of all of... Uh, well, I don't know if this is true. The theory is Godzilla is made up of a bunch of different things. And it's actually a vessel for a lot of other things. I don't buy that too much. And again, I've stayed away from all the plot synapses and shit. But if this was the case and Godzilla was some kind of, let's just call it an arc that carried these things because you had the Trilobite in 54, right? You had the Sea Louse in 84. <laughs> Wouldn't it be kind of crazy if the, now we reinvented the wheel again and there's another kind of parasitic organism to God? I mean, shit, Orga was kind of a parasite in 2000. He was drinking Godzilla's blood, trying to get his DNA. Wouldn't it be kind of crazy if they did that again? And even though the Trilobite and the Sea Louse was, you know, it's just there. But to have something like that, because this this comment I read was basically like, I took it like Cloverfield. Remember in Cloverfield, the monster was dropping off those little things? I took it kind of like that. And now that I think about it, it's kind of like Legion also from Gamera 2, where it gets to shoot out its spawn. What do you think about this theory? That there are organisms living within Godzilla that comes out of him. And, you know, also attacks. It's crazy, but so is the director of this movie. Uh, so let me start with you, Shinji, and we're going to go in reverse order. What did you think about that crazy thought? Well, first of all, I want to touch upon every time you say organisms. It's, it's I know where you're you going. Um, <laughs> uh, no, I don't know if you do. Hang on. Uh, you, <laughs> you ever watch Ren and Stimpy? Uh -huh. <laughs> There is an episode on Ren and Stippy where they like wildlife uh, wa observers and they're on the Galapagos Islands uh, looking at all these like mutations and shit like that. And uh, as soon as uh, he says organisms, they have this close up on his mouth. He's like, organisms. <laughs> and that's all I think of every time you say it. <laughs> you got to say it the uh, right way, you know, is, even though we get a little R still, you know. Still a kid show. Uh, so on, on the actual subject, um, see what pisses me off about um, the subject of your point is they never really explain the trilobite. They never really explain the sea louse. Its name is Chakras. That's right. Um, they never have an actual uh, uh, story of why it's there. I mean, why is the trilobite falling off Godzilla? And who gives a shit? You well, know? no, they kind of do. <laughs> They kind of do because they, they like, you know, this is something we haven't seen in 64 million years. You know, it's, okay. it's like, a, look at this specimen. All right. I mean, but what's it doing hanging on Godzilla? I mean. Uh, it was yeah. like, if I'm not mistaken, it was like, you know. A booger? Pretty much. <laughs> just like, just like Chakras. It was, it was attached to Godzilla and it was drinking it. And that's why it became as big as it did because of the radiation. All right. Well, I mean, yeah, I there's no backstories to them. There's no, like, you know, plot point. I'm just, I found it interesting that all of these, well, both of those movies had a certain thing attached to Godzilla that kind of had your imagination go. 
the trilobite chakras, and apparently, and I don't know if this is true or not, if it is true, some kind of organism, <laughs> you know, uh, that comes off of Shinji. So that, that's the only, that, you know, I'm not looking too far into it. I'm just saying that I find it interesting if that is the case. Yeah, um, I mean, we just got to wait and see at this point. It's hard, it's hard to really try to grasp anything without super spoiling it at this point. Agreed. Okay, so uh, G73, what about you, bro? We're going backwards, so it's your turn. Um, I think that would be a very bizarre thing for that. I mean, I mean, well, the trilobite and chakras and stuff like that, I mean, I... If this Godzilla is made up of many, many things and he's not, you know, a resurrected dinosaur or whatever or awoken by the atomic bomb or a testament of the atomic bomb or whatever, it's, um, it's kind of going to make Godzilla very different for me because I'm not too – I don't like that idea. I want – I you know, I kind of like the idea, you know – the atomic bomb, you know, resurrecting or waking him up. I mean, I mean, I'm, I, I like that idea a lot and have him, you know, have, if they're going with a route, like he, the atomic bomb exploded and then all these things formed into Godzilla. I think that, I, I don't know how I deal with it. I don't know how I like that. Um, I think that's kind of odd. And, um, I, uh, if, if that is the case, maybe they won't touch up on that a lot, and I can just ignore it. But I hope that's not the case, because I don't like that. And I have seen comments like that, too, but nothing has been, like, severely, uh, I don't I wouldn't, I don't know, like, canon yet, but... Yeah, I'm not too, I'm not too fond of that idea. All um, right. But we'll see. All right. What about you, Martha? What are your thoughts? I'm kind of agree with him. Like, I don't know what to think of it. Um, obviously, we don't even know if it's true or not. But it's like, I don't know. Like, maybe there's like a little creature that's like tearing his skin apart, like in the end of his tail or something, to explain why that part looks really gross. Or you know, he has like almost like a like a termite type thing in him. So like, I don't know. I'm trying to like trying to think like how it would work. But I don't know. I, I'd rather see it and have the movie explain it to me. For me to fully understand and accept it, I don't even know what it looks like, what it is, or anything. So I don't know. I'm just more on the on the confused end. Gotcha. Uh, Z1, you're up. Uh, expanding on what Mothra said, because I basically wanted to talk about that. The tip of his tail has a lot of pus and a lot of skeletons and if you actually look at the very tip of it the, a picture of it has been floating around via a, a, a figure it has a face it has and, teeth yeah and that's interesting like what if that thing came alive and popped off the tip of godzilla's tail and started to become its own kaiju or something i don't know i mean that was a theory that was floating around for a, a while especially when we first saw the tail I mean, because that was a huge topic of discussion all over the place. What the hell's up with the tail? And a lot of people say, oh, no, that's just raw meat and cartilage and bone. And uh, yeah, okay, because it, it does. But at the tip of the tail, there really is no bone in any kind of animal. If you really look, just go and look at that shit. You know, you could cut off a, a, a lizard's tail and get to the tip of it. It's real, there's no bone. It's just... Excess, you know, cartilage it's or muscle. skin. It's muscle. it's muscle. So this has bone in it, and yes, there is a. It, to me, there's a face. Um, I, I do have. I do teeth. have a kind of slight theory with that. Oh, I want to hear it. That, that is, um, you know, kind of reaching at Angerus in a way, but in, in Ankylosaurus, the oh. dinosaur Ankylosaurus had a bone tail. You're right. And a lot of people are like, "Oh, Godzilla can't fight with these short arms." He has a giant fucking tail. Maybe that's what he fights with. And it's funny you mention that because I was going to talk about that in our later topic. Hold up. I want, I want to keep going there. Shinji, you're onto something. I like that. Uh, but then that also implies that there's another monster in this movie. Because Godzilla doesn't really need his arms to beat up the, you know, 
the the Japanese self defense force never did. Does it have, does it have to be this movie? I mean, what if they do a, a three part uh, movie series? Well, I th- well here's the thing: in order for them to greenlight a sequel for anything, it's got to be a profitable, pro- profitable, profitable. Um, and nobody knows yet just how profitable this movie's going to be. And I don't know what Toho deems profitable. Uh, with all their other movies, because we began movies back to back to back to back. There was a, you know, a, the show era, it was just a boom. Mm-hmm. The Hesai era, it was condensed. It was like, we already started. Let's just keep going. And in the Millennium series, as everybody knows, it was like, all right, well, what can we do next? Well, let's not continue. Let's just do this. And then let's try that. And then let's do this. Oh, and let's just put Mothra and Mechagodzilla together and make it a two-parter. You know, there was nothing ever cohesive. And then let's let's remake Destroy All the Monsters for Godzilla's 50th. Headshot. And that was a commercial failure. Right yeah. There, right? The thing with that is that those, those budgets for those movies were so, well, a lot cheaper than, you know, I would say this movie. Well, so I, if, if this movie bombed, kind of like Final Wars, it would really it would really hit them hard in, in compared to, like, you know, Mega Gears or Destroyer or something else, you know? I mean, I don't know. Uh, well, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, because it's been a very long time, but I thought Final Wars was Toho's most expensive Godzilla movie up until now. Is that yeah, true? It was. It was, it was right? Oh, uh, yeah. So, yeah. And then they bombed and it, it threw, it scared Toho. But again, it, it what pisses me off is it shouldn't have scared Toho. Because we know that you're not going to follow Final Wars up with Final Wars 2. <laughs> you know? You could have you could have made another Godzilla movie earlier. It just didn't have to go crazy the way they did. And I believe most of that money went to Kit Tamura, to be honest with you. He was a hot commodity back then. Where they, they used to call him Japanese Quentin Tarantino. And I love the dude. Listen, Final Wars aside, because I love that movie. Final Wars aside, I love Kitamura's movies. I love Versus, uh, Azumi, Sky High. I, I have those. I watch them. I love those movies. But that's not the topic of this discussion. I'm going back to you, Shinji, because you know I like that idea. But I'm I'm iffy if I'm iffy about will they make this into a trilogy and then use it later on? You know? Because listen, yeah, the tail could do some major damage in this movie. Don't get me wrong; it could sideswipe tanks and shit, and that would be cool to see. Well, I mean that that, like I said, it's just a, a, a theory at this point. Um, I was just pointing out that you were saying that you know animals don't usually have a lot of bone at the tail. Well, that was one you know piece of history that did have bone in the tail. So I'm just using that as a point of reference. I'm not saying that, you know, it is used to fight or whatever, but I I think it's, you know, he's got that super fucking long tail. That can be, you know, a great use for it. I agree. I agree. Uh, G73. A little added weight at the end of it, you know what I mean? Yeah. No, I got you. I totally get you. What I would like to see, though, is Angelus in the movie. (laughs) Give me that (laughs) shit. Come on. Listen, he need, look, I like Final Wars and all, but come on. Give me some Angelus. Uh, G73, you said you had something. Here is confirmed. Oh, you don't lie to me. <laughs> G73, you said you had you you wanted to touch on something he uh, Shinji said. What, what was that? Well, do you want me to talk about that yet? Because that's about the game topic that was just announced. Well, we can we can hold off on the game topic. Uh, I, hold off on that then. Does any with the game? Does anybody else have any uh, ideas about that with the? Uh, the mom, well, I heard Z1, he, he's the one that started this conversation, this topic about the uh, face in the tail. Mothra, did you see a face in the tail? If, if there was a face in the tail, um, I don't know. Like, I'm still like a, it could, it could just look like a face, but I don't know. I have, to, I have to really like analyze it. I didn't really analyze look, like looking at the face, like what you guys said. So I need to go back and look at that. All right. So let's let's do a real quick game before we jump into games. Um, <laughs> over under. Um, no, screw that over under shit. Let me ask you guys: percentage that there's another monster in this movie starting with Z one. Oh shit! One <laughs> Yeah, he fell off. Z one, you hear me? Hello. Yeah, you hear me? Okay, I can hear you. Um. Uh, uh, I mean, it might be just a standalone movie, and then like at at an at the end or after credits thing, then a monster is another monster is revealed. I'm not sure. 
So you're saying one percent? I'm saying. Okay, I think we lost him. So let's go to you, Shinji. Percentage that there's another monster in this movie. Um, I say eight percent. Eight percent, not bad. G seventy three. Percentage that there's another monster in this movie. Uh, well, there's a few things that I've read and they just they percentage, all, brother. Don't even worry about that. Give me a percentage. What do you think? Uh, um, I say fifty fifty. Fifty fifty. All right, hang on. I'm getting a I'm picking up a faint signal. Hang on. Uh, here we go. Ah, look at technology. Are you back, brother? Technical issues abound. Yes, I am back. All right. So before I go to Martha, let me ask you once again. I didn't get your answer. Uh, percentage. Um, like I'm basically like saying like usually Toho when they start when they reboot a new franchise with the uh, with the exception of Godzilla 2000, Godzilla's by himself. So I think that it's going to be a solo Godzilla movie with maybe a monster revealing itself at the end to set up a sequel. Okay, so like I said before, one percent. One percent. Mothra, what about you? I'm going with zero percent another monster, but but I do think there might be like a little creature, kinda like an eighty four or something. Um other than that, I don't think there's a monster at all in this movie. I think it's a standalone film. Gotcha. I'm going one hundred percent there is another monster in this movie. I'm lying. I take that back. I take that back. I take that back. <laughs> I take that back. But I will say this. If Toho does what I wanted them to do uh, with Legendary and give us two Godzillas, then I'm going 100%. <laughs> two Godzillas. What does it mean? <laughs> Every fucking time. I, yo, it'll never stop. It will never stop. <laughs> all right. So, all right. We got our percentages in. Um, and now I, I uh, fuck it. G73, give us a little bit of news that came out as far as uh, mobile games go. Well, that news dropped way before this little cool little teaser trailer popped. But they have a new, uh, well, it's not a new game. Uh, there's this game called Paco Dungeon, and it is only available in uh, Asia. But you can get it if you, you know, are good with, you know, having those kind of, like, blue stack apps that let you play foreign games. But anyways, I'll go on about it. The app has a section in the game dedicated to Godzilla, period. And what it is, it's just like a little jewel quest game, you know, like you, you put your finger on the jewels and you slide up on the screen and you make a pattern or a path and your little avatar will beat the shit out of Godzilla characters. Well, uh, they're doing this to promote Godzilla Resurgence, and Shin Gojira is one of the bosses in the game, and I have posted uh, videos of it and um, pictures of it. And um, in the game, uh, Godzilla clearly uses his tail as a fucking club. When he, when he fights back in the game, Shin Gojira, he arches his back, and he swings his tail around, and the little red tip, like, like turns into a ball in the game and he knocks the shit out of you. And so uh, going back to what, you know, uh, Shinji said, I think he kind of nailed it <laughs> because he, he does that in the game. And also uh, if we want to talk about the atomic breath, he has red and blue atomic breath in the game and red and blue make purple, but that's a crazy theory going on there. But he does use his tail as a weapon. So, um, you know, it could be possible, you know, in the movie. I mean, he uses his tail as a, you know, big weapon in the movie. That'd be cool to see. Um, but um, but he definitely uses it in this uh, mobile game that came out. And um, so I thought that was pretty interesting that he kind of said that and stuff. And um, Gotcha. Listen, I just now I'm, I got to jump back into what we were talking about. Because Z1 has just sent me the images of the toy that he was talking about with the focus on the Shinji's tail and there is absolutely a face. So I am ripping my... It's 100%. There's another monster in this movie. Because that is a face. I, what I'm looking at right now and uh, for you guys out there in uh, 
G Show Podcast Land watching this, I'm going to post this image right now so you can see it. That is a face, and there's no way nobody can tell me that's not a face, that, that that's just weird bone structures. No, that's a face. That thing looks like, uh, uh shit, like Alien Resurrection, the uh, Ripley Xenomorph thing, the the birth alien. You know, you know what I'm. That's yeah. it. Reminds me of that. It doesn't look. It reminds me of that. But this is absolutely a face. You see the eye socket where the eyes would be. You see a bone like eye sockets, and that's a mouth. There's teeth up top, teeth on the bottom. It there's no way you can say, oh, that's just a a, a design thing. No, it's, that's it's practically, it's practically <laughs> smiling too. It, you see it. It is exactly it. That is. I'm I'm ramping it up. It's 100. percent That is. There's gonna be another creature in this movie. That's crazy. Thank no, you, Z1. You know, you said <laughs> what was that? So you think that this thing is just gonna get cut off from Godzilla's tail or something? It'll be weird. Well, here's the thing. Okay, um, I remember in the beginning, everybody was like, oh, "Why is this tail so damn long?" It didn't matter really, but Godzilla's reptilian, and you know reptiles they can grow their tails back and if Godzilla is going to regenerate in this movie maybe he does lose a piece of this tail or whatever the case may be and whatever is affecting Godzilla affects the tail I'm I don't know I'm speculating but that is a face there's no way around that is a face and that is purposefully done and you know what I was thinking about this last night maybe Toho was like you know what we're not going to show all of this trailer stuff because they might, maybe in the edit bay, give something away they don't want to. Maybe they're saving a big, big surprise. And like G73 had uh, shared with us yesterday, one of the directors said, an hour into this movie, there's going to be some humongous reveal. And I was joking, like I said before, it's going to be Godzilla. But now I honestly believe that it's going to be another monster and it's going to become, it's going to come from Godzilla's tail. Which is something we've never seen before in a Godzilla movie, which I think is actually interesting. But that's a face. If, if you guys see that well, picture right now, I don't know if you guys saw that picture, but I've seen it. It I've is a it. face. I'm looking at it now. That's amazing. Um, but let me let me just say too that that can easily easily put in the the category of you know two Godzillas being that it fell out from Godzilla. I don't know if you remember the the old cartoon which I used to love called the Humanoids. Oh, I love that show called Tendril. When yeah. Tendril got, you know, a piece of him blown off, it turned into another Tendril. Yep. I mean, that that could be a possibility of, uh, of what goes on. No, I totally, uh, man, I love that show, by the way, man. It, wasn't that the one where decomposed yeah, and he I turned a girl into decomposed. a zombie? Holy shit. You know, the guy who did Starscream and Cobra Commander did the voice for decomposed. Yes, that's right. Chris His Lata. name, Lata, yep. <laughs> Chris Lata, yep. You Dude. know what I was thinking, too, uh, is a theory, a really crazy theory of mine. But say, say they bring the option to destroy or something that kills Godzilla, right? And then this part of the tail, like, comes off or kind of like, you know, how in GMK in the end the heart was beating? But in the end, this thing was like, kind of like the tail was breathing the ocean. It becomes Godzilla in, in the future if they do do a sequel or something. Like, I don't know. It's kind of an idea there. Maybe they didn't want to do that. I like it. I do. I, I Listen, it's not it's not unfounded, man. That's a, that's a good idea. It's a good theory. That's a face. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. You guys are going to see it for yourself. I'm going to post it up. That's a face. Oh, man. Holy crap. I mean, it just changed. That That right there just kind of changed my whole thought process to for this movie. Because yeah, I, didn't, I didn't think you saw the picture. And I wanted you to see it. See what I was seeing. See the teeth. See the eye sockets. And just like... That's a face. Oh, absolutely. I appreciate that. I thank you so much for that because that Can blew my mind. Can I explain why I'm 50-50 on another monster being in this? Say that again? Can I explain why I'm 50-50 in my opinion of another monster? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Is it spoiler material? Well, I mean, it's something that I read, but it was nothing like legitimate. It was just from other pages and stuff. And you're on the page, but I don't know if you saw it. Oh, go ahead. Fuck it. But, um... There has been many things that I have said that I have, you know, read and and have heard people talking about that. The monster, the there, there is another monster kaiju 
that pops up at the end of the film, not the end of credits, but at the end of the film, and it leads into some type of sequel. And I heard people talking about that, like, a way back, but I, I can see that happening because I do see it pop up every once in a while, and I just, I just don't think with... Um, when 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 Higuchi says, you know, some an hour into the movie something big happens. I, I mean, okay, well, what's going to be bigger than Godzilla? You know, and you know, so what is two Godzillas? <laughs> <laughs> what does it mean? <laughs> so uh, that's why I'm fifty fifty. I I can see it being a strictly standalone film, but I can also see a kaiju at the end of the movie popping up and going against Godzilla, which, you know, I, to be honest, I would rather see another monster go against Godzilla. I, I just, I just, the idea of just Godzilla destroying the military just doesn't completely excite me. And to, if they really want to show off Godzilla and his prime, especially if they want this to be Shin Gojira, I, he has to, in my, I think he has to go up against something. That's just how I feel. Now, you know, put something, that, so, something where he's equally matched. Now, let me ask you real quick. Shin means true, right? Yeah. It has three meanings. Uh, let me hear all three then. It means real. Okay. It means God. Um, and it means true. Let me tell you something right now. 100%. 100%. The other monster is Godzilla. It is the real, the true, and the God, Godzilla. It is the... I'm telling you right now. What we see in this trailer, googly-eyed Godzilla, that's... We are getting the legit Godzilla. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> he's an imposter. He's an imposter. He's, he's, he's Voldemort in the Harry Potter series. Exactly. Well, if, if this is a standalone, not related to any other Go uh, Godzilla movie, what what is going to be the standard to make him the true Godzilla? Well, that's what I want to know. Now, that, that's a good question. What I'm saying is, Toho knew that the look of this Godzilla was going to get some kind of fucking backlash. And we've discussed this many a times. The backlash within this community has been ferocious, okay? But if there's one thing that everybody in the community agrees on, it's we love Godzilla. If not the look, but always the look has always been sort of similar, sort of the same. Whether you look at 2000 and you're like, well, uh, it's still Godzilla, right? Easily. So that being said, even if none of the movies existed beforehand, the fact that we've got this decrepit, decaying looking Godzilla and then all of a sudden out pops a fully formed, no damaged Godzilla, there's your true Godzilla, there's your Shin Godzilla, you know what I mean? There's your real Godzilla. And if it's a powerful, badass motherfucker, there's your God Godzilla. You know what I'm saying? Like Spider-Man and Venom or Carnage. Almost well, kind of. I, I, I'm kind of, I'm, I want to backtrack just a, a bit here because we were talking about the origins, you know, and the Trilobite bite and all that. I wanted, I want to know if, be, being that this is a standalone, are they going to hold true with the mythos uh, that Godzilla was a god? And I love that. Ah, that's a great question. That is great because that's what it was. I mean, but, and then you, you think about that and you go back to the people of Odo Island. They were not, I won't say primitive, but they weren't technologically sound. They Ignorant. still had, they, yeah, they had their beliefs and they were set in their ways. They sacrificed girls. They did what they did to to please this, you know, ocean god, Gojira. Um, so that's really, I like, I like that, man. I think that's a fucking great idea, great I would love to see Godzilla as literally a god, not just a figment of the atomic bomb, but the actual essence to punish humanity for their arrogance and ignorance. I would love to see that as a legitimate thing because I just the I you know I just like that idea where Toho wanted to come from was to show you know we need to you know after we dropped the atomic bomb you know this was what happened and now we are being punished for it. Why not make Godzilla a god where he can't be destroyed and stuff like that to, you know, remind us that, you know, make whatever horrible things we do, there will be a consequence we cannot control. I like that idea. And so I, I'm down for that. I like that too. Uh, Mothra, you have any ideas on that? I'll get you, Z1. I'll get you. 
pretty much what he just said, like, to have Godzilla represent, like, almost like a punishment for what we did. But at the same time, like, like I don't know. It's like, what's the standard for him now? Because, you know, I don't know. I don't know what route they should go, honestly. Um, they could go, like, the GMK route, where, you know, it's almost like, you know, everyone's forgotten after all these years, and it's time for something, uh, you know, a behemoth to just undo everything or punish everyone. So, I don't know. Z1? They can go oh. the directions on this. Gotcha. Z1, what about you? Okay, so, like, it actually... Is quite interesting if they go that route and make Godzilla a god uh, because he would just become this entity, this this figment that that just is there to punish people. Plus, if he's a god rather than an animal, he can finally fight Cthulhu on equal ground. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable! <laughs> I thought Zilla could do that by himself. I'm just saying. Let the fanboys fire at me. <laughs> Teflon. <laughs> but, well, all right. So here's another crazy theory of mine. Because I'm, I, I honestly believe there's going to be two Godzillas in this movie. And not that, you know, that face on the tail is necessarily a Godzilla. But, Jesus, there's definitely something there. And it, that's not going to be ignored. What if this is Godzilla and he does regenerate? And it's – you kind of, like, go through – his 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 story, like you feel for the creature, because let's be for real, we all love Godzilla. So whether it's in pain or not, being people up, what being monsters up, I should say, or not fighting the you know the government or not, we root for Godzilla. That's why we watch these movies. So what if like yeah. we go through the process with Godzilla? And this is an interesting thing. And I wish G ninety five was on this podcast. Shout out to G ninety five, um, because he's a fan of Evangelion. He likes that anime and. Everything he, he he talked about with that anime, it seems like the director has this sense of, you know, um, ah, man, like, wanting, like, he wants you to feel what these characters feel. And that goes for every movie maker, filmmaker. They want to put you in this situation. They want you to go through the journey with them. But that being said, what if the idea is to go through the journey with Godzilla, feel Godzilla's pain? That's why he looks like that. Why does Godzilla look like that? Why is something... Yeah, why is something that people like uh, Shinji and myself, older do, or people older than us, who we have a certain idea of what Godzilla's always been, now he's looking like this, and okay, whether we like it or not, it's an aesthetic thing. But the journey, and this is something that I've always said, that I've said since the beginning of the podcast, I need to see this movie to understand why. The journey, what if that's the journey we go through with Godzilla, fucked up the way he is, and slowly but surely through the movie, he's regenerating. He's coming back. And at the end, bam, there he is. And we all cheer. And we all celebrate. And his eyeballs get bigger. And it's just like, yes! Remember the magazine that just came out, though? Uh, the one with yeah, Luffy? That you, and I, that you and I really liked. Had that cartoon kid on it. And his eyes looked reptilian. Yes. What a... What if that ends up playing in the role like he does regenerate? Because now that I look at it, he didn't have any scarring on him in that magazine. There's a little bit. You got to look. There is. It is there. Okay. It is can, there. I, can I just touch on something we were just talking about? Yeah. Uh, no. Um, well, you know what, Chase? <laughs> G run run. G one runs the G show. Yes. <laughs> um, basically, you guys are talking about, you know. Godzilla is about this symbol about, uh, you know, atomic energy. Now, here, here's the only problem I've had with this all these years. Japan didn't drop the bomb. They got dropped on. So now it's like they were already victims, and now they're victims again? Why? <laughs> <laughs> well, that, well, that was 1954, and that was just like a metaphor of what they went through. And let's do it in an entertaining way, and what other way to do it? Let's make a giant monster. Remember the, the story with um, uh, and I'm gonna I'm not even gonna try to you know say his name because I'll butcher the shit out of it. But oh, Honda, it's your Honda. When Honda was flying over Japan and I mean over the ocean, and he was thinking about King Kong and what if Kong was you know from the water and then you know ape whale, Gojira, boom, and and the idea of 
so many Japanese lived through the horrific events of the bombs. Show that yeah, to the um, rest of the world. You know what I mean? Like, show okay. them the type of thing. Because at, at that time, and we're, we're all cynical now. We're, we're way past that in our, in our generations. And also, if they do end up bringing America into this movie somehow. Well, they are, because like, the girl's an American envoy. Yeah, so, you know, that... Even though she's Japanese, but yeah. she's from, you know, she's a part of the American envoy. So yeah. that's interesting. I like that. I can't wait to see where that goes, too. But you were saying, go ahead, bro. Oh, no, no, I just I, wanted, oh yeah, I don't know who you're talking to. I want to bro. Say, so. um, <laughs> I'm gonna have to bro Japan one bro. Did make a straight up Hiroshima movie, and nobody liked that. Like that was too fucking depressing and shit. But then Godzilla like fucking resonated with everybody because it it wasn't just straight up text; it was subtext. Right. I love this guy. People like subtext better than straight text. Absolutely, and then and, and it also. It, it can also go across, you know, the ocean and, and go across countries and cultures. And look, this is kind of what we dealt with, but you're seeing this in a different way. Like you said, we're showing you it through giant monsters. We're showing you this through fantasy, but we live this shit, you know, and it makes certain people think like, oh, wow, this is terrible. And then, you know, Godzilla thrives for 60 plus years and we are lucky to have him now. So that's a beautiful thing. But uh, before I go to you, Shinji, uh, G73, you were saying something. Go ahead, man. Oh, no. I, I just thought that that would have been really interesting, you know, touching up because how he said, you know, uh, you know, with America being in, um, if, if, you know, with her being part of the American envoy in this film, you know, that could play a big role because I heard that they, like, end up contacting America's military to help them with go against Godzilla. She ends up being a big role in that. So I, yeah, that's something we haven't seen before. And I mean, I don't know if that's true, but I have read that many times, you know, so, you know, and then all of the, you know, America and Japan uniting against it, you know, who knows, you know, who knows where this is going to go. I'm I'm going everywhere now with this. <laughs> Don't worry, man. We we got a couple of weeks left. We're we're ready to go. G uh, Shinji, you were saying? No, it just you know like I was saying it just it just didn't seem you know like fair. Like why why are the victims twice? You know what I mean of the same problem? Uh, like I said, they didn't Japan didn't drop the bomb. They got dropped on. Oh and oh you can get Godzilla too by the way. I mean, come on. <laughs> oh, that was the fallout, man. That was like, all right, we got whammied once. Oh, fuck, again? <laughs> it's like, this bullshit. And then, and then they're like, yo, here, America, see what you did? Fuck y'all. <laughs> GMK made sense to punish to me. But yes. to be punished for something they didn't do doesn't seem right, is what I'm saying. Right, I got you. Uh, yeah. Are you going to say something really quick? Um, Absolutely. What you said before about the journey with Godzilla... Maybe, like, hmm, like, if an animal was hit by a bomb, like a nuke or something, thinking like a Godzilla Swords or something, I would pretty much would think that that thing would be scarred beyond belief. It wouldn't look like the, the cool reptilian creature that we all know now, but, like, battle-scarred, like, you know, with the muscles exposed. Like, it would make more of, like, a scientific, like, make, it would make more sense to have a creature that would look all, like, disfigured. More than just like this cool looking creature coming out of the sea, you know? Gotcha. Well, but, uh, uh, but me going to the uh, the whole God journey to with Godzilla thing, I've always enjoyed those types of stories. Um, injecting some Godzilla nerdiness into this, the comic book from a year ago, Godzilla in Hell, that didn't have any dialogue, that didn't have any human characters, that just had Godzilla yes. going through hell. You don't know how he died. You don't know how his soul went to hell, but you followed him through this journey, and you saw you saw yeah, how he <laughs> went down to hell, faced a bunch of demons, went through these trials, and then came back on top in the li back in the living world, good as new. So you're saying that Shin Gojira is actually the Godzilla from Godzilla in Hell? No, I'm not. You're saying, saying that he's the IDW no. Godzilla. Come to fruition. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. <laughs> I'm not saying. I'm saying it's 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 basically like a 
me making parallels between the two. Like, if this is a story where you follow Godzilla and the human characters are just pretty much in fucking consequential, that that could be interesting. I agree. I like that. that. Pretty cool. Yeah. I, I mean, I think I think we spoke about this in a previous podcast once. Um, the idea of following just Godzilla, just follow Godzilla. Like, you know, the, the people who are talking, oh shit, oh, it's a giant monster. Oh, they're dead. You know, just like oh, fucking okay. Godzilla walking, and then it would be it would be fun. But I I believe that Shinji is going to be this type of movie. No, let me rephrase that because I believe a lot of things. Apparently, especially on this podcast, I've said like fifteen different things. There's definitely going to be another monster. I believe it's going to be another Godzilla um, because we've never seen that before, and I thought G14 was going to do that, but they didn't. Um, and now I believe, like I. The idea of going on the journey with Godzilla from being all fucked up and feeling bad for this thing because we were all fans. And it's more, I guess, this is more for the fans, you know, uh, and I don't know what Toho's thought processes are behind it. But me personally, if this was the case, if I was in charge of this movie and I was doing it this way, it would be for you guys, the fans. Follow me. Or Godzilla, follow Godzilla on this journey of absolute pain and torment, and at the end, he's back in his triumphant return, and everybody. That's what you want in the movie—a a kind of a happy ending. I don't want to. And see. then he'll be pissed off. <laughs> and then, and then you he'll leave it open for the sequel. And off and we'll all be screwed. <laughs> Listen, then you leave it open for the sequel. I saw Ghostbusters last night. They left that shit open for a sequel. I'm just saying, but that's another thing I'll put up later today. Uh, but yes, yeah, so. I would I would really like to see um some kind of well I I don't know what I like to see. I'll be honest with you. I just want to see the damn movie and hope that some of the things I've said is in the movie so I can say, ha, I called it, called it, called it, called it, called it. Yes. Um so yeah, we're gonna be wrapping it up right now, right about now. I want to thank everybody on this thing, but before we go, of course, I'm gonna let everybody speak their mind. So I will start with you, G73. Uh well, um, I'm a little bit pissed because I'm not allowed to post on Facebook anymore on Megalon. They shut me down for a few days, but I'll be back up and running soon. But with that said, you guys take it easy, and I will make sure I can still find content to somehow get either on the G Show or GVA or whatever. Gotcha. Uh, Mothra, anything you want to say about this podcast, everything we talked about? Uh um, I'm just excited for the movie. I personally don't need a full second trailer. I'm just ready just to see this thing. Uh, those 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 15 seconds was good enough for me. I I, I know I'm just I'm just I'm just I can't wait. I just hope we get it soon. <laughs> gotcha. Z1. I am not disappointed. We turned eight seconds into a fucking hour. So <laughs> hey, yeah, we sure did. All right, and Shinji. Uh, I just want to touch on a subject you guys had on the last podcast real briefly. Go ahead. Uh, it's a two-hour movie, but let's not hope we only get, you know, five minutes of Godzilla. <laughs> we already got more of that in the trailers and yeah. stuff. Damn it. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm just fucking around because I wasn't there. Well, I, I seriously <laughs> see Godzilla being, a, you know, in this, like, very fluidly. I mean, it, And, and I'm looking forward to that because, you know, like, it's a two-hour movie and it looks like they're going to put a chunk of Godzilla. But yeah. let me let me move on because you know we're at final stop. Uh, the other thing was oh, no, no, wait, 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 wait. movie. Like I said, I was gonna interrupt. Go ahead, Z1. You were saying something. We were talking over you. Um, I said, come on, guys. Let's face it. With all these trailers we got from uh, Shinji, we got more Godzilla than we did the entirety of 2014. You know what? I should have fucking talked over him. Fuck that bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So my other, my other point was you guys you guys brought up the atomic ray and this might be a whole uh, it could be a whole podcast on its own but Godzilla has control over his ray that's why it can go from a mist and smoke to a beam to an ultra beam uh, so just wanted to touch up on that man, man how do you know that are you Godzilla's mother or something. I am. That's why I, I run the GVA show. I do that. <laughs> the GVA show. <laughs> I love it. You see how you combine that just there? 
You're a beautiful woman. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> and that, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. And that, ladies and gentlemen, in G Show Land, will end up this uh, special uh, Godzilla Block Party podcast. I want to thank my whole panel because they are fucking awesome. We had a good time today. We talked, we hit some things. Uh, we. I want to thank Z1 for sending me that picture, which will go up on this podcast. Thank you, sir, for joining us. And until next time, thank you guys for joining me on the best damn Godzilla podcast I've ever been on because it is the only damn Godzilla podcast I've been on. I am G1. This is the Godzilla Block Party. Peace.